Alright, so yesterday the YouTubers John Swan and Dream got into some beef. And today Dream decided to respond to all of the allegations on a one hour long live stream titled Detective Dream. And since in yesterday's video I was mostly personally favoring John Swan, I figured I'd show this to you guys so you guys can get the full perspective from both sides. There were also a lot of Twitter reactions to this stream which I will cover in tomorrow's video. But without further ado, here's what Dream had to say about John Swan. One year ago. I did a collaboration with a small YouTuber. I had, I, it, it was one year ago, it was February, or no, it was before that, but, but I, I did a collaboration. I had like a, a million subscribers or something like that. And a small documentary channel reached out to me. They had 6,000 subscribers. You know, I, I, thought, I thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be a good idea. I decided to do a collaboration. It was cool. The video was good. It was a good video. The collaboration was great. I had a good time. Three months later, that's when drama struck. I got a DM from somebody who messaged me and said, somebody is impersonating you. So I get screenshots of, of this impersonation account saying I was gonna make a, a sex Minecraft mod, a realistic one, and saying the N word. I get a DM also from the same person saying that it was the person that I did the documentary channel that was doing it. So, I reach out to this person. Dream then reads out the DMs between him and John Swan for his audience. Since I already covered it in my last video and for the sake of time, I'll be skipping past his direct readings of what happened. Again, if you wanna see that, check out my previous video. I, at the time, I, I, didn't, I didn't really believe them. I thought it's kinda, it's like the dog ate your homework, like, no, it was my brother who got on my computer and, and DM'd you the N-word. Like, okay, I didn't really believe it. I mean, that was, that was, that was my perspective, but I didn't say anything. As you can see, I didn't reply. There's no, okay, well, you can't, you can, you can pretend. There's nothing there, because I did not reply. The DMs were empty. So he has claimed, obviously, that this man was not him. So let's find out. Dream then goes on to read the messages that John's family friend sent under his account during February of last year. He said, hello. Harley said, hi. He said, what's up? Harley said, nothing much. Just wanted to add you because you seem fun to talk to. They had priorly talked on Twitter, but not on Discord. He said, things not working out with LT Cobra. For context, LT Cobra is a friend of Harley's that John Swan knew about and was a prior relationship knowing that Harley was having issues with LT Cobra. Interesting. So apparently, Swan claimed to me earlier today that this was his 12-year-old friend that he hasn't spoken to in a year. How, I ask you, how would his 12-year-old friend know about Harley's relationship with LT Cobra? That doesn't, that doesn't line up to me. I, I just like to say that it does not really line up to me. I mean, that is an interesting scenario unless his 12-year-old friend somehow knew about this because they had none no prior Discord messages. None. At all. Zero. Actually none. So he couldn't even do research because Harley's old account was actually suspended. Oh, this is very epic. So what are you up to on this fine day, Mr. Swan? I'm in a call with Dream at the moment. He was not in a call with me. Yup. Keep that in mind. Now, what would you say? I mean, would you say yes, yep? Would you say yup? I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe you're one of the people in the world that say yup, right? Maybe you are. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind yup. Let's do a language analysis. Keep in mind yup. Keep that yup in mind, okay? Now, I have never, as far as I know, said yup in my entire life. So, I rest my case. Okay, no, I don't rest my case. That's not it. That's actually not it. If that was it, that's it probably enough. But that's not it. That's not it. He says yup. So that's in his vocabulary. That's in, that's an interesting, an interesting thing. Very interesting. 
He happens to say yup. His 12 year old friend happens to say yup, just like him. Cool. I've always wanted to meet him. His videos are interesting. I can never tell if it's a joke or serious anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, it depends on the video. Does he actually have a Discord server? I do. I do. Yes, I do. I'm not in it if he does. Is his Discord account private? I interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary, and we've become such good friends since. He said, no idea. Harley said, that sounds pretty fun. Can I get his Discord? It's up to you, but I would love to learn more about how he develops his plugins. I am making my own game in Unity. Impressive. I'd like to ask him questions about how to do some stuff with that too. I wouldn't know. Anyway, that's not the point. Swan said, yeah, sure, give me a sec. Harley said, what have you done today? Anything interesting? And Swan said, yeah, I just recorded an exposed video on Skeppy. Harley said, ha ha ha, he's a funny guy. And John said, also scummy. Harley said, ha 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 ha, you did an exposed video? What did you expose him for? Swan said, he steals code. Interesting 12 year old, keep in mind, this is a 12 year old, according to John Swan, 12 year old. He steals code. <laughs> Let's look at this verbiage. Exposed video. Now, if I was saying that, I would say exposed video. Expose video. I don't know what you would say. Maybe you would say exposed video. But let's just say maybe the odds are, maybe the odds are 50-50. Maybe the odds are 50-50. Let's see what John Swan himself says. And there's, there's plenty more where this came from. I mean, he's made YouTube, he's, 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 he's used this vernacular plenty of time. Exposed videos, exposed video. I mean, it's just the D. That's the only thing I'm interested in. The D. I, I wouldn't, I would do that without, without the D. Exposed video. I, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say, maybe he happens to have, yup, exposed video. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, he said, any spams uploads which, with duplicate content against YouTube's terms of service? That is a smart, a smart 12 year old who happens to know YouTube after having apparently asked Swan about YouTube and talked to him for 10 seconds. He steals code though. This is important because this is a relevant thing. Because back then people were saying, oh, Skeppy steals code in his videos and things like that um, in the commentary community, which just so happens to be the community that Mr. Swan resides in. Anyway. Let's just say, 12 year old understands. He understands the commentary community. He's, he's in on the know. He knows all of that. He knows about the YouTube TOS. You should enforce TOS across all levels. He has impeccable, I don't know, like spelling and grammar and I, I don't know. Let's move on. I was just talking to Dream about him. No, you weren't. Um, but YouTube won't. He agrees. No, I don't. I asked for a DM to verify it's him. Kind of sketchy. He DM'd me. It's him. Then record a few seconds of audio. Um, dude, I literally interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary. Have you watched the video? Doesn't mean this isn't a dummy account from one of your friends. What? Dude, this is stupid. You can make a fake account to copy it though. Dream doesn't DM people the n-word and shit. That is true. That is very true. I, I don't. I will, I, will, I will publicly officially say that. I do, I do not. I do not do that. That is, that is that, definitely not. Oh, he DM'd you that. Lamau. Ha ha. That was for me. Ha ha ha. I have his discord. It's like, I know that's not him. Well, obviously you don't because you asked me for it. I mean, that, that's some, that's some high level sarcasm. I mean, well, obviously you don't because you asked me for it. If, if you asked me for it, you wouldn't have discord. That is some, that's some smack talk. Swan's going for the, the, I don't even know, the takedown, the WWE smackdown. But is this a 12 year old? That's the question. I wanted to verify validity. Swan, yeah, he's talking about you. Dude, you don't have to be a dick. Oh, see, he doesn't want me, him DMing me. Um, I am not, it's just real suspicious. If it's really him, get him to respond to my DM on Twitter. I think he stopped caring about you. That's a fake. He's a busy man. He's not interested in clout chasers. So then, what if I told you I am a $35 supporter to his Patreon? Patreon.com slash dream was taken. He said that, it's just not there. And have access to his private dream supporters server. And he has a different hashtag. Then I would tell you that he has two accounts. This is later. I mean, it's just him doing the ah, ha 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 thing. A lot of people do that. It's not much, but again, it's just, it's just when you have similar, like you have a similar speech to somebody else. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, he says, ha ha ha. He says, ah, ha ha ha, which obviously, and that, that's the real John, by the way, this is the confirmed, this is confirmed real John. And then according to him, this is fake, fake John. 
fake John. I mean, I'm not saying that that means anything, but it, it kind of, I mean, it means something, but like you can add it all together. I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't mean much, but it still does mean something. This is just all my research. I mean, I did research. I did plenty of research into this subject, okay? But the smoking gun is yet to come. The smoking gun is yet to come. He said, I don't care about that. I do not want to end careers. Just, just be honest. I know that isn't dream. Dude, I don't care. What else do you want from me? I don't know. Just be honest. It ain't dream. Okay, dude. Whatever you say. I just know I interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary and became good friends with him afterwards. That's all. That's a fake account, though. I mean, Harley seems like very smart. Harley is persistent. Harley's not... Harley's not taking taking bullshit, right? Harley is going at him. He's like, no, this is fake. I know it's fake. Stop telling me it's real. Even though he's made a video with me. He, he was not... He was not taking mess. He was he was going for he was going for it. He's popping off. And then Harley DMs and says, So now what? And sent screenshots of me saying it wasn't me. They just like it ended his career. He got him with the so this you? This you? And this was a day, this was this was a day later. This cause they're in weird time and they have like the eight that goes first. This is a day later. He says, Can I call you about this? as this is relatively serious. I'd just like to confirm you haven't been hacked. I need to call you. This is a day later. I mean, it's been a whole day. This has been happening. I need to call you to confirm it's you. What? Mate, don't spam me. Sorry, I'm at a party, mate. Will you be home anytime soon? I just need to verify it's you. Is there any way that you can prove you're 100% John Swan so that the argument that you've been hacked goes out the window? If you are John, unless you've been behind the Dream Fake account, you'd have no reason to not confirm who you are. So, so it's real you now, right, Swan? Yeah, okay, nice. Another, is it, can we call it any point soon just so I can go over all the stuff that was said and hear how you feel about this and shit. From like the Dream Team account, you can see stuff. He says, another time, mate. This is not John. This is John. I'm saying this is not John. This is John. I'm gonna call with him. With a screenshot. Two different people. Keep that in mind. Most likely, two different people in on this meme. These are the messages between fake dream. Ignore this, ignore this for now. This is this is like, this is the new name on the account. Ignore this. This is the, this is fake dream. Hi. And he goes, oh, I wanna get in contact with you, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, wrong person. Oh, cause he just sent the N word. And then he said, sorry, wrong person. But it got deleted cause he deleted it. Anyway, yeah, my day has been good. Thanks for asking. Just got finished up with this Minecraft sex mod. It's looking really realistic. Ah, uh, what? Huh, is this gonna be a video? This is, by the way, this used to be me. This used to be Dream with a Dream profile picture. Well, of course. I think it will bang. YouTube algorithm finna slaughter you. True, Harley, true. Harley is coming out of this on top, looking very intelligent. Not sure what's funny about it. I've put a lot of time and effort into perfecting this. I think it's gonna be one of my proudest pieces of code. <laughs> Sounds it. I'm guessing you ain't the real Dream because you don't have social linked, but this, still, this discussion is funny, so I would like to continue it. The reason I do not have my socials linked is because I don't like my close friends knowing I have a YouTube channel. But you're the same name. If they search anywhere, they'll find you. Not to worries about that, lol. Okay, I will DM you on Twitter. I will DM you on Twitter. Could you respond? Anyways, I guess John has wasted my time by telling me to add you. It seems like you're just here to criticize my work and throw comments about the validity of my account. No, I am not. I want to know how you make them, but I need verification it's you. That's reasonable. Nicholas Diorio. Who's that? Well, that is the new name on the fake Dream account. The new name. It has a new name and profile picture. That's how Discord works. But Harley was able to find the old account and it has the new name, Nicholas Diorio, instead of Dream with a Dream profile picture. So who is Nicholas, you may ask? That is a good question. This is Nicholas, drama YouTuber. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is Nicholas. That's interesting. Why is the old fake dream account now called Nicholas? Let's see. I'm going on his second YouTube account. His most recent posts. He has Old Town Road cover, John Swan. Homicide cover, John Swan. I'm Alex's next victim. There's some other ones. This isn't John Swan. This is John Swan's best friend. My question is how is it all linked? So what we know is the new name on the account, which wasn't changed after this was brought up. It was not changed after this was brought up. It was not. Harley was able to confirm that with screenshots and witness testimony from that before this all happened, this name was Nicholas Diorio. So that's interesting. 
Very interesting. Why is the new account that used to be called Dream, that was an alt account, apparently of this 12 year old, who is a family friend, called Nicholas Diorio? John Swan's best friend. They've been friends for a long time, from what I did my research. They've been tweeting about each other. I had a secret account, join their Discord, and, and look at their messages. They, it, it seemed interesting. They seemed like very good friends. Why would this randomly be? So these are the scenarios here. One, the 12 year old is a genius, a mad genius who knows how to perfectly mimic John Swan's vernacular, his mannerisms, the way he speaks, has information about Harvey's friends without ever having spoken to him before and have no past messages that then now, a year later, is still a criminal mastermind using Nicholas Diorio's name on the old fake dream account. For some reason, a man with 50,000 YouTube subscribers who has no relevance to this situation other than that he is John Swan's friend or it was John Swan. Now, which is more likely? That is not for me to decide. I can't log in. He left his account signed in on a 12 year old's computer and he can't log in. Well, that's not how that works. If, if you left your account on somebody else's computer, then you can still log in. It's just they can log in too. I mean, it's not like he knew your password and was able to change your password or anything. And you had to submit a password request or anything. I actually can't remember why I was able, why I wasn't able to get in. Maybe bad connection. The house of cards falls. It continues to fall. You cannot build a house of lies without having inconsistency after inconsistency after inconsistency. Allegedly. Maybe bad connection to the point where I had to submit a password reset request. Maybe I was trying to act like I was hacked, but at the same time claiming that I left it on someone else's computer, which doesn't work because you don't need to reset your password using a password reset request if you have access to the account. And you don't need to have, if you have bad connection, that doesn't mean you don't have access to the account in which he claims he has access to the account. And if you left it on a PC, on their PC, that doesn't mean that you can't log in. Now, apparently, according to Harley, they said that he originally claimed it was his cousin. Apparently he said to someone else that it was his sister. He said to me, it was a family friend that he hasn't spoken to. He went on record yesterday saying he has not spoken to this person that is a family friend, not related to him at all, apparently. That's 12 years old that he says has autism that has now apparently having not spoken in a year to this person is now apparently framing a random commentary YouTuber, Nicholas Diorio with 50,000 subscribers. It doesn't make any sense. The, the dots, they, they, none of them connect. None of them connect to each other. Somehow Nicholas Diorio is is a, is a account that used to be dream and like that's random. It's, it's like his best friend. Like, so this is my theory, John Swan saw an opportunity to troll and he took it. He decided to troll. He was probably in a call with his friend, Nicholas Diorio. Nicholas then, you know, messaged him as Dream and said some dumb stuff. And they were just making, you know, they were having fun other than the fact that they sent the N-word. They were, they were just, they were messing around. They said some dumb Minecraft sex mod stuff. Then they forgot about it and changed it back. Now, this, this isn't his main Discord account. I've confirmed that this is not his main Discord account, but could be an alt. But this name being here makes no sense whatsoever. Other than that, it's either John on his an alt, which is it could be likely, except for this, which I talked about earlier. His mic not muted. His mic not muted. He's talking. He's not lighting up. This is John Swan. Who's this? Nicholas. Not showing any. No, not throwing any accusation out there. But that's just that's just a theory, a game theory. This account, although the account was recently cleared out and left all their Discord servers, they weren't quick enough. Harley was able to confirm that this account, Nicholas Diorio, was in one Discord that was shared with Harley. It was a YouTuber Discord that happened to have John Swan and Nicholas, Nicholas's actual Discord account, and this one in the Discord. So let's just go over the evidence from the beginning. First, John Swan claims that he, he left his account on a 12 year old family friend's computer who he hasn't spoke to since this incident and has no idea any involvement he has, no idea anything he did, that then decided to make a fake dream account as well as use John Swan's main account to 
troll a random person, Harley. And then on top of that, decided to act just like John, say things that John would only know about, like LT Cobra. John in relation to Harley, that Harley confirmed, John would only know about, would use common phrases and vernacular that's, that John Swan uses, like yup, and other things like exposed video and things like that. Mentioning the YouTube TOS and specific things from it, like duplicate content. Knowing Skeppy uploaded a lot at the time, you should enforce the TOS across all levels. Using intense sarcasm. Well, obviously you don't know because you had to ask me for it. Using grammar on a computer, nonetheless. Grammarly must have been installed. That's what we learned. This went on for two days. This is eight. This is seven. He's able to get back access to his account very quickly. He said, don't spam me, I'm at a party. This 12 year old is a party animal. Uses the same phrasing again. Uses mate, same grammar, punctuation, punctuation, capitals, capitals. It's the exact same as this 12 year old, capitals. Even, even on the um, a capital. The fake account changed to the best friend of John Swan, Nicholas Siorio, randomly. This 12 year old has decided to pretend to be a 50,000 subscriber commentary YouTuber that's friends with John Swan, because I don't know, he wanted to before any of this happened. John Swan said he didn't lose access, but he requested a password reset or he, and he sent it as proof that he lost access. He said he just had bad internet connection and that's why he couldn't connect to his account and that it wasn't actually lost. He then used Harley to say that Harley had changed their opinion and that Harley thought that it, was, it wasn't it was him anymore. Even though Harley made a video back then that John did not like at all and said some things to, interesting things to Harley about. But Harley has tweeted recently, after speaking to Dream, I'm unlisting my video and I won't be saying anything further at this point. I'll leave my prior statements up. Just know I'm not confident in them anymore. His key witness has backed out after hearing the information that was presented. Caught in 4K. That's all I have to say, okay? Caught in 4K. I mean, I I will say, I, I usually don't express negative opinions like this. I posted a comment on a subreddit in a comment, a, a comment that had 20 likes. And somehow it became like this huge YouTube that, that like 15 commentary channels make like 100,000 view videos on saying, Dream is manipulative and he's a liar. We can revisit the original comment I made. Everything I said was true, every single thing. And even John agrees with everything I said. He just says, well, it wasn't me. I said that you said it wasn't you. I said he said that his friend hacked his account and done it. What, what was I lying about? I even gave you the benefit of the doubt and put that information there that you claimed it wasn't you. And I didn't even express opinion. I didn't go, oh, he said it wasn't him, but I know it was him. I just said I didn't reply and I unfollowed him. That's all I said. I, I didn't even, I implied, I implied, but somehow this turned into me getting exposed because everybody has to turn everything into drama on Twitter nowadays. I get, and I'll say this, I gave John every opportunity, to be honest. I gave him every opportunity. I messaged him, I had conversations with him. I was telling him, hey, look, dude, like, I know it was you. I know it was you on the account. Like, I, there's, there's, there's heaps of evidence that either it was you or you're just not telling us the full story. I gave him an opportunity. I was like, look, I don't even want to, I don't want to cause problems. I don't want to cause anything to happen. I'd rather just us work it out and I want to know what's going on. And he's like, okay, well, I, you know, I have nothing to say. And I was like, okay, fair enough. I tried. I tried my best. That's why I made this stream because I, I just hate when people think that, I don't know. Like it's 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 very frustrating. Everything like a comment with 21 likes became like this this million view catastrophe on YouTube with tons of channels and tweets and I'm a liar apparently for for nothing. Form your opinion if you want. If you disagree with me after seeing all that evidence, that's fine. If you if you think you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, that's fine. I'm not a liar though. I'm not a liar. And it's perfectly reasonable for me to assume that he was being dishonest and not even tell anybody that, not even tell anybody that, but just assume that he was probably being dishonest based on everything that I knew and everything that I had seen. It was reasonable. It was reasonable. So even if you, you don't think that's enough to convince you for whatever reason, or you don't like me and that, so you're going to stick to that opinion, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not a liar. I did not lie about that. I was, I was telling the truth about everything that I said 
and I was sharing my opinion. And opinions on the internet don't really work anymore, but that's that. So, Detective Dream, like I said, feel free to form your own opinion. I've expressed mine. You know, I'm not I'm not a god. I'm not I'm not an always right being or something. You can form your own opinion. I just think personally as an analytical and logical thinker that there is it's it's obvious. It's very obvious. And I after I talked to Harley for 10 minutes after afterwards Harley was basically saying the same thing. But. So that is about it for his stream. Very interesting stuff. It definitely makes sense in my opinion that he would think John Swan is lying. One thing I would like to know about the stream though is that he said he wasn't lying, but in the initial Reddit response he says that John Swan was vouching on his main Twitter and he has yet to prove that. John Swan earlier said that was the main direct lie that was made. So the jury's out on that one, but with all this new information I would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe with notifications on because I will have the Twitter reactions to this up tomorrow. I'd also like to thank my channel members for supporting the channel. In particular, Scrubby, who decided to donate $100 a month. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, dude. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.